The Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 is the best version of the company's dual screen dream, but is it worth its price tag? Hey guys, Tito James here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. In this one, we're checking out the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED UX582. Such a long name, but let's check it out. The newly refreshed version of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo is significantly more powerful than its smaller sibling, but there aren't many changes to its exterior. The chassis and lid are made out of machine magnesium alloy treated with the company's trademark concentric Zen finish and sports the Asus signature celestial blue colorway that oozes with class. Open the lid and that's where you'll see the many improvements to the initial design of this dual screen laptop. We are getting the same ergo lift hinge that angles the bottom of the laptop a few degrees to improve thermals, but the second display on the bottom also tilts up for better viewing angles, which was one of the biggest complaints on the original, and also gives the notebook a bit more room to breathe. That being said, there are a few things that haven't changed with this laptop. It's still pretty chunky at 21.5 millimeters thick at its thinnest point, and it's also pretty hefty, tipping the scales at 2.4 kilograms. Now, if your workflow requires you to be more mobile, this will present a bit of a problem. Think of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo as more of a desktop replacement of sorts. As far as I.O. goes, there's a good mix. You get a single USB-A port, two Thunderbolt 3 Type-C connectors, a single HDMI 2.1 port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. Moving on, one of the things that makes this notebook so special is its primary display. It's at 15.6 inches, it uses an OLED panel, 4K resolution, and it is touch enabled. It looks absolutely gorgeous thanks to its incredibly vivid colors, 440 nits of overall brightness, and insane color accuracy thanks to its Pantone validated DCI-P3 color space. Of course, since this is a ZenBook Pro Duo, we have to talk about that secondary display. If this is your first time checking out this line of laptops from Asus, this is dubbed the ScreenPad Plus. It's at 14 inches, also at 4K resolution, and it's also a touchscreen. This second display allows for some excellent multitasking, and if you're a content creator, has some awesome tools for you. Since Asus is working hand in hand with Adobe, they have some excellent tools that you can use with the ScreenPad Plus. So if you're using Premiere Pro or Photoshop, yeah, this is definitely an excellent plus for this notebook. Now, one thing that you might not like about the primary display of this laptop is that its refresh rate is capped at 60 hertz. So if you're a gamer, that might be a turnoff for you. It's not so much of a big deal for me. Again, this is aimed more towards content creator, but you should know about those limitations. Now, one thing that's kind of iffy for me is the typing experience on this laptop since Asus did have to move the keyboard to the bottom of the chassis where you would typically rest your wrists. Which means that the trackpad, unfortunately, is also in a very awkward position, especially if you're a lefty, but it does double as a numpad, so there is that. Now, I highly suggest using a mouse with the ZenBook Pro Duo, but make sure it's Bluetooth since IO ports are kind of limited. Other than that, the keyboard does feel good to type on. You have key travel of about 1.5 millimeters. Again, no traditional wrist rest on this laptop, but Asus does throw in an accessory out of the box to make things a bit more comfortable. In terms of internals, you do have two choices for the ZenBook Pro Duo UX582. You have an Intel Core i7 and an even more powerful i9, which we have with us for this review. You also have a fairly powerful GPU, an RTX 3070 that runs at 90 watts, and other specs include a generous amount of RAM at 32 gigabytes, DDR4, and a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Now, obviously this setup makes this notebook a lot more powerful than its smaller version. I was able to edit videos with no problem. Any productivity task I threw at it was handled like a breeze, but we wanted to see how it did in terms of gaming. Take note that the 3070 inside the ZenBook Pro Duo 15 isn't equivalent to the performance that you'll be getting on a desktop version, which means on full HD, it should be able to push frame rates well past 60 FPS, 
Unfortunately, the games on our benchmark list struggle to get past even 40 at 4K resolution, which ultimately means you'll have to downgrade your resolution to 1080p if you want to play AAA games on the highest settings, which to me is a very fair compromise. As far as the thermals and noise, the fans do get quite noisy when they're running at full blast, which is to be expected. Now for the temperatures, we got the CPU to peak at 93 degrees, which is quite warm, and dropped down to around 85 degrees with sustained use. In terms of battery life, honestly, don't expect much. You are getting really great hardware with this laptop after all. I got about 2 hours and 30 minutes worth of work using the ZenBook Pro Duo. That's out of the box settings. I didn't toggle anything. You can extend it a bit more, but for the most part, expect to be tethered to a wall. Okay, so is it worth getting the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED UX582? To answer that question, let's talk about price for a bit of context. In the Philippines, the i7 version of the ZenBook Pro Duo 15 comes in at 169995 and the one with the i9 processor comes in at almost 200,000 pesos at 199995. So yes, you are getting a massive upgrade with the UX5A2 in terms of internals compared to the smaller version or the previous version of this notebook. It had more than enough muscle to handle everything and everything I asked it to do. Plus, the addition of the 3070, it's just a very welcome one. Uh, if you're a gamer on the side, this is something that's good to have. The only hurdle, it's not really, well, it is kind of a downside. The hurdle for me is definitely the price. Again, almost 200,000 pesos. That's a lot of money to drop on a single device. But if you are willing to invest the money and you think you can make the money back if you're a content creator or a professional that needs to be on the go and you think that ScreenPad Plus will be a good addition to your workflow without having to bring additional accessories, then this could be something that you could look into. So there's definitely more to cover with this notebook. We will be making a separate video that will show you more of the content creation tools with the UX582. Make sure you stay tuned to that. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell if you have any questions about the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 OLED UX582. Leave them down below and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest in tech, head to unbox.ph. Plus, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and listen to our podcast on Spotify. All the links will be down below. My name is Tita James. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time and stay safe.